All right, guys, so we right back at you. I decided to patrol right here for now because one thing you need to know, let me, oh, first and foremost, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. Shout out to my subscribers. Shout out to my members. I'm excited, guys. I'm excited. This thing finna get crazy, and I'm glad you guys, for those who have stuck, stuck it through to this point, oh, man, y'all about to get a treat. Because I'm going to really just give you a lot of knowledge about the game. I'm not just going to tell you about the, the, the uh, my theories and, the, and you know. Yes, I'm going to expose this this whole coalition alliance thing. But I also want to want you to learn different strategies about the game. And I still want to be able to teach those who want to learn and get better. So this is not just about the Axis coalition and trying to expose them. But we are going to expose them. But at the same time. Let's learn a thing or two about what we got going on here. So right now we're we're in a situation where we're being attacked by, um, and he is attacking. So let's look at that for a second. Let's come back for a minute. Um, so we are uh, those ten bombers. Let me explain how this. How, let me explain the strategy behind this. For some of you guys who may have airplanes, and you just like, well, what? How would I, what, what, what to do in this type of situation, right? But let me explain to you. He has 10 bombers fully loaded. They're at 99%, so they're going to hit me with their maximum strength. Um, and they're, they're attacking the 109th Railroad Gun Corps, Mendoza. So they're going straight for my, my units down there on that province, right? And it will make impact in two minutes and 27 seconds. This is the name of that bomber group, BI-540 Valencia. Very important that you can read that, guys. I, I, have, I don't think I've ever really broke this down that much, but it's very important that you understand all of that. Because he can very much change this into a situation where he may just want to and he may in a minute decide, oh, I just want to do a, a patrol. So you have to watch it. Because he doesn't have to attack. He could change his mind. This attack is definitely the command at hand. But he can always change that. Um, Ten seconds before the attack. And then I have to be able to make that adjustment. That's why I don't want to attack with my fighters right now. For several reasons. I want to be able to, I want to, be able to stick around. And not only that. As long as I'm patrolling right here and he's coming, I may can get I may can hit him one good time in patrol mode. And then before he leaves, just go ahead and hit him, go ahead and attack him before he get out of range. It's important to keep an eye on the time of impact. And again, I'm not really too concerned about that attack because I have a very strong fort. This is what it's all about, guys. Focus, concentration. You have to be aware. You have to have some knowledge at this point. Because some people get in these situations and really don't know what to do. So this is a bit good learning curve for some of you guys. Especially when it comes to air warfare. The fighters are going to beat the bombers all day long. Really, bombers really almost have no effect on those fighters. As you can see, I'm bringing my bombers up. Reason why is because if he att okay, so he has attacked already, or did he? No, he did not attack. See what I'm saying, guys? He sees that I got my guys here, 
and he sees that that fort is right there so he decides to turn around Kind of should have kept my hand on that to make sure I seen uh, if he attacked or not. But I'm sure he did not attack. Because none of my troops was hit. As you can see, I didn't lose anybody. So he decided to just turn back around because he see my fighters over there. And if he would have attacked, guys, I would have been able to send my guys on up right here. And once he would have landed, he would have been very weak. And I would have certainly have taken him out. So that was a, kind of a smart move on his part not to do that attack. Because I was hoping that's what he was going to do. And I was going to show you guys a very good counter move. But he made a good decision to turn around. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hunt them down a little bit. I'm not just going to let them run away. Another thing to keep in mind, these fighters, they don't have as much range, meaning they don't have, they can't go as far as the bombers, but they do travel faster than the bombers. So as he's trying to get away right here, I can definitely catch him with these fighters. And I'm just going ahead and letting my fighter patrol for a few minutes because I can still get him a couple times before he gets out of my radius. But I definitely probably want to go ahead and attack before uh, he gets completely out of the area. Did y'all see what did y'all see what Pennsylvania did? He he disappeared. He started this war with Valencia. He pulled me in some kind of way. Some kind of way I get pulled in. Because Valencia just attacks for whatever reason. Then tries to blame me for the attack. And then all of a sudden, it's me and Valencia, and Pennsylvania is nowhere to be found. So I've already hit him one time. That's why you see his energy went down a little bit. But now it's time to go ahead and attack. trying to see should I stick around a little longer and patrol because I might can hit him one more good time but now I'm thinking nah let's just go ahead and get him let's just go ahead and bang him one good time we ain't letting we ain't letting you come in our territory like that we ain't gonna take out a few of your planes we're gonna take a few of them out and when that happens guys you'll see um those bombers don't have no real effect on those fighters when those seven fighters hit that ten bombers, they may lose three bombers. We'll lose no fighters. Cause you got to think about it. A bomb is being dropped down for the most part. You don't shoot a bomb. Whereas fighters, they're shooting at you. So they're able to just tag and shoot and tear up a bomber because you can't, you know, you have to get over top of me to land that bomb on me. So I think that's a pretty cool concept. Guys, I can't wait to use the heroes. I know y'all been using them and stuff like that. And, I, and I'm and i going to really uh, get into it on the next map. So I can't wait to do that. I think that's a good addition. I like it. I really like it. I like what I've seen so far. So we'll get into that as well.
Man, I learned so much on this map, it makes no sense. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I learned a lot on this map. And I'm gonna really take it with me. The things that I did learn. There's some strategies that I will implement moving forward. Alright guys, we're gonna conclude this video. Y'all catch me on the next one. If you don't know what's going on, go back to part one. Shout out to my subscribers. Thank you to my uh, to my members, and I'll be right back at you.